Hi, my name is Kim Dingle. Our reading today is from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the descendants of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, he said to her, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed at the statement and kept pondering what kind of salutation this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the holy child shall be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age. And she who was called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold the bond slave of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. I want to share with you a couple things that I learned from Mary's response to God from these verses. I'm convinced that Mary's obedience is evidence of her trust in and her dependence on God. Mary trusts God. She didn't have to know all the details of this calling. She only asked one question. I would have had about a hundred. She asked how. And I love that the angel responded with who and said, the Holy Spirit is going to do this. She didn't ask why. She trusted the one who chose her. Mary depends on God. She responded in faith based on her relationship with God. Everybody has focused over the years on how young Mary is, but I love that spiritual maturity isn't based on our age. It is clear from her response that she had a relationship with God and that he was preparing her for this high and holy calling. And so now how do I respond is a tougher um, ask, but I can tell you I've had a crash course over the last couple of months walking through a medical trial with our daughter, Ashley, who found out she had a brain tumor two months ago. I'm still learning, but these are the things that I'm learning. I'm learning to trust God and to try to respond based on my faith in God and not my flesh. He's always been there before and he's never going to leave me. And so he's with me in the trial. I have to learn to trust that whatever he's called me to, he's going to get me through it. And I don't get to pick the trial, but I can choose how I'm going to respond. And I'm learning to depend on God. And for me, what that looks like is trying to live more vertically, trying to live from heaven while I'm still on the earth. And so I have to immerse myself in the things of heaven in order to do that so that I can respond and obey and plug into the power of the Holy Spirit. And for me, when our daughter got diagnosed with a brain tumor, 
praise was the way that I could live vertically. It's powerful to praise in a trial. We know that. The good news is the throne room is portable. And so when we were in that waiting room in Vanderbilt Hospital for her four and a half hour surgery, I did what I knew how to do, which was to put my AirPods in and get in the room with the king and to lock eyes with him and to sing. I know it sounds probably completely crazy. The waiting room was big. And so thankfully, not everyone got to hear me (laughs) sing to the king. But that was what he was the one who carried us through that surgery. As I was singing to him, you have to breathe to sing. And so otherwise, I would have held my breath through the whole surgery. He was pouring out peace. I learned Jesus' peace. Peace is a person. We don't have to grasp for it. We just have to grasp for Jesus. And so I want to encourage you to find a way to plug in vertically, to live more from heaven to the earth. For me, it's worship. For you, it might be opening the word of God. It might be prayer, whatever it is. Ask God to show you because it will help us respond in a way that brings honor and glory to God. So please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we just praise you that you are a good and fa- good and faithful Father. You are worthy of our trust and you are worthy of our worship. Jesus, we love you. We desire to walk in such a way that we can surrender all the things that you call us to, surrender our hearts, open our hands, and receive exactly what you have for us, and that you would use us in such a way that brings you honor and glory by the power of your Holy Spirit. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day. 